Hey guys, welcome back to our top fives. Um, we're going to be talking about quick service stops uh, 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 today. Yeah. So I'll kick it off with my number five. Okay. The Flame Tree Barbecue Ooh. at Animal Kingdom. Um, what were the fries that we got? Because I can't re remember exactly what they were, but they were really good. They were like, they were, well, they were pulled pork fries, I think. Yeah, okay. So it had pulled pork on it, and then it had cheese. Or it was like barbecue, barbecue pulled pork with yeah. cheese. Um, so good. And I think like a little bit of cilantro or something. Yeah. Um, so that was really good. Very fresh. Yeah. Um, and. Fresh. I wouldn't call those fresh. Well, the meat was nice and fresh. Oh my god, I thought you meant like a fresh, like cold, like almost like when you say like, oh, a salad's fresh. <laughs> I was like, wait, they're french fries. <laughs> um, they're no. so good though. Yeah. And that's that's like a barbecue place in general, so it has- We've like, only had them once too, so. Yeah. But they're good. Yeah. Um, so, so my number five is the Backlot Express at Hollywood Studios. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I mean, they have. I did think of that one. They have pretty normal stuff, nothing like super exciting, but it's just. I mean, it's it's inside, so it's like you get the air conditioning and stuff. Um, fairly decent prices. You, there should be something there that everyone in the family will like. Yeah. Um, and I mean, when you're at Hollywood Studios, there's not a whole lot. But, yeah, um, they're not really known for their food, but. Yeah, but I mean, I think it's a decent spot there are definitely a lot of worse spots um yeah <laughs> but like we don't really do a whole lot of quick service so i know that that's one place that we have gone and it was decent it wasn't there wasn't anything i didn't like yeah. plus when i was there they gave me a free cupcake because it was my birthday which i thought was super nice yeah. um so i just think it's a it's a decent spot my number four was woody's lunchbox Mm, as yeah. a whole it's it's pretty good um, we, we went there t to grab a quick bite for breakfast because mm -hmm. we were at Hollywood Studios early when they first opened uh, Galaxy's Edge and we probably had a, a breakfast there around 7.30 ish it, it was just this like a little almost Jimmy Dean style breakfast bowl yeah. I thought it was good. Or some tater tots. Yeah. Or potato barrels, as they call potato them. Potato barrels. But, yeah, so they have things like uh, grilled cheese, just s some simple stuff. Yeah. So, but that was a good one. Yeah. Um, my number four is Satuli Canteen at Animal Kingdom. Um, so that's in Pandora. Um, I think that this place is really awesome. I think that they have healthier options. They have, like, some rice veggie bowls with meat um and then they have which are really good i've heard i want to try them yeah we haven't had them yet but um but they they look so good mm -hmm. and so i want to go and try those but when we went we tried um the cheeseburger pods um which were awesome they came with like house-made chips um and then it was a kid's meal so it came with like a drink and it came with fruit and house-made chips but i guess you're able to order it um like as an adult and you can ask for you can ask for more than one and they'll charge you like an adult price I guess so you don't have to necessarily order off of the kids menu right um but you got you got a lot of stuff with it like yeah. um so it wasn't bad and it actually kind of filled me like just for like a little something to keep me going yeah um it was like a fueling station <laughs> yeah yeah but it was I really enjoyed it and it was indoors so you get the air conditioning most most quick service places, I feel like most quick service places are like outside where you order at a counter and then you just like sit on a picnic table somewhere kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, but I liked how this one was indoors, so there was the air conditioning. Um, it was really nice and there was plenty of seating. Plenty of it. It was kind of like a food court. It was a big place, yeah. Yeah. Um, number, number three. My number three was uh, Be Our Guest. Not solely for food purposes but for experience purposes see and that's that's one of the things that I almost put on my list and I ended up crossing it off yeah but only lunch 
at Be Our Guest is quick service. Right. So take advantage of the of the, uh, uh, the quick service too, because it's hard to get in there, and the food isn't fantastic. I got like a turkey sandwich. sandwich. Yeah. And but orange cream cannoli. Uh, but the atmosphere it's and it, it's gorgeous in there. Yeah. It's so awesome. They have the ballroom, they have um, the West Wing, they have a whole bunch of paintings throughout the whole place too. Yeah. So it's really cool. If you're okay with just like a, 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 a simple quick like sandwich or, or, or something along those lines and want to just check it out, I totally recommend it at least to go once yeah, like, yeah, yeah breakfast breakfast i've heard is overpriced and not that great and dinner that one is like it's like almost 60 dollars, and it's a prefix menu and if you're on the disney dining plan that's two sit down credits like that's a lot i didn't know that it's a lot so like the best option is going to be lunch because it's a quick service and it's fairly decent price and if you're on the dining plan it's not bad if you're on the dining plan, you'll get that. You'll get the meal, you'll get dessert, you'll get like a fountain drink. I'm not sure about appetizer, because um, I don't think we got an appetizer. I don't um, think so. But, but I think it's just like the meal and dessert. And you can look around the place too. It's and, awesome in there. And take pictures and stuff. Yeah. So. I definitely think at least if you haven't gone, you should at least try to go once. Just to go in, because when we went in, it was just gorgeous. Yeah, the experience, the experience was great. So. Yes. Um, so my number three is actually Woody's Lunchbox. Okay. Um, same, same reasons. I mean, the only thing that maybe like pushed it back. I love the food. I think the food is all great there. Um, and then they have that, they have, I forget the name of it, but it's like the Powerade and Mountain Dew drink. Um, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. Um, the Lunchbox tarts are awesome. When we went for breakfast, everything was really good. Um, and I mean, the only thing that maybe pushes it back on my list a little bit is that it is outside, so you're in the heat, and there's not much seating, and there's not much shade. You have to like dart to a table as soon as people. There's not a whole lot of tables, leave. and like yeah. there's no shade anywhere in Toy Story Land. Like when they built that land, they can't put trees in there because you're supposed to be the size of a toy. So like those trees would have to be like ginormous, like <laughs> if they wanted any trees. So it would just like totally, probably hit a plane. It would just ruin the the whole atmosphere that they were going for. So yeah. it, there's not a lot of shade there. That's one of the things that's. Eh. Yeah. But. So so let's move on to to number two. Yeah. My number two. Uh, I don't think you thought of this, but I don't know. Earl of Sandwich. No, I didn't. That was a good one. This is at uh, Disney Springs, so it's not in a park, but it's on property. Earl of Sandwich has like any sandwich that you could possibly think. The Thanksgiving sandwich is her favorite. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's like I know they have subs. Should they have like flatbread stuff? Like I'm sure they do. Just like pretty like they're known for their subs though. Yeah. But. It's really good. So good. Like anything that you want to put in a sub, you can do it at Earl of Sandwich. So it's awesome. We try to make a point to to go there once per trip. We didn't get there the last time, but maybe the next time. <laughs> it was good. That place is awesome. That was a good one. Thank you. Um, my number two is. Sleepy Hollow. Um, I, I think Sleepy Hollow is great. It's a lot of stuff that you can't really find anywhere else in the parks. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like your typical burgers and hot dogs kind of a place. Um, they have they have corn dogs. They have um, waffle sandwiches, like waffle chicken sandwiches. Regular waffles. <laughs> yep, regular waffles. And so it's not your normal quick service, but I think that it is so good. I, I almost kind of think of it as like a like a hidden gem kind of a thing, because I feel like not a whole lot of people go to it. Like they'll go to, I feel like they'll go to, um, you know, 
what is it? Um, Casey's. Not Casey's, but like um, over in Tomorrowland. They'll go to Cosmic Rays, like, and just get like. Onto uh, Gravities. That's this an ice like cream place. Yeah. Well, it's still quick service. But like, they they'll just go and get like chicken fingers or a normal hamburger when like there's so many like hidden things yeah. um one of the things that we like ended up earl of sandwich yeah <laughs> but like one of the things that we ended up getting one time at um sleepy hollow was this ice cream cookie like chocolate chip ice cream cookie sandwich oh, and it was yeah. insane it was massive first of all yeah. but it was just like the cookies are baked fresh at that location every day um so like you could just tell like they weren't like boxed cookies or something like that something that they get shipped in you could tell that they were fresh they just tasted so good and it was insane um so i think that that's a place to definitely check out yeah. rather than just getting like normal normal chicken fingers somewhere like yeah i don't know number let's go, one let's go with number one i think i, I think we speak have this on one. do you have both of us here when <laughs> i say casey's corner is number one yep Animal One, Disney. 100%. Right at the end of Main Street, USA. Well, not really the end of it, but... Well, yeah, because then... At the end of, like, the shops. That's the hub. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It is. <laughs> it's so awesome. Corn we, dog nuggets. We always get corn dog nuggets, and it comes with a side of french fries, and then now, recently, they've added, like, cheese sauce to it, so we get, like, a little cup of plastic mm -hmm. cheese with it. Um, they have like insane foot long hot dogs. They'll do monthly, monthly special ones just with random stuff on them. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it's really good. It just, like, it just looks like your normal hot dog place, but the corn dog nuggets are unbelievable. They are so good. Yeah. Um, and so I it's highly. It's a very American style place. Yeah. It, 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 it's a, a baseball themed. They have someone playing piano all the time. Go June. Um, <laughs> they have plenty of seating inside and outside. So Yeah, so that is our top five list for quick service restaurants. Um, in the comments, write down what you what your favorites are. Let us know what you think. Um, and until our next video, we will see you guys real soon. Yeah.